Hello, art people. Welcome to this one day lesson, Veterans Day Weaving. So the first thing that you're going to need for the activity is a piece of chipboard. You can cut it to any shape you want, any size you want. Chipboard um, is just this really thin cardboard. This is actually the back of a cookie box. So the next thing you're going to need is a pencil because the first thing you do is always the same. Pick up your pencil and write your name on the bottom right corner. And your class, which is two because you're a second grader and the first letter of your teacher's last name. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is turn this into a loom. So we're gonna take a ruler and we're going to draw lines that are going across. So I'm going to just take my ruler and move it up until it's about halfway up the ruler. So my ruler is about an inch, so it's gonna be about a half inch up from the top. So I'm just gonna move it like that. So there's about half of the ruler hanging off of the chipboard. I'm gonna just try to make it really even. And I'm just going to lightly draw a line going across. And then I'm just gonna continue that again. So I'm gonna go up. This time I'll actually go the whole way. So the bottom of my ruler is lined up with the bottom of the chipboard and then I've got it lined up over here. So I'm making a straight line. Okay, well, I'll just move it up until my ruler is lined up to the bottom line I made. There we go. I'm just gonna keep doing that. So I'm gonna go up until I run into that Next line, put my ruler there. Up. Okay, now I'm going to do what I call a little snip. So a snip is just a really small cut. So instead of cutting all the way across, I'm just going to do a little snip on the ends of both of all these lines. So for instance, do a little snip here. So it's just so that our yarn has a place to go into and hold on to. So I'm going to do a little snip on each spot. And I'm going to do the other side as well. So all of these have little snips, as you can see. I'm going to do this side now. All right, there we go. And now we're gonna get some yarn and go ahead and wrap it around our loom. All right, so this is for Veterans Day. So you can either use red, white, or blue for this. I think I will start with red. And what you'll do is you're just going to Unravel some yarn for yourself. Does not have to be exact about this much is good. And then you're going to find the end. Okay. And it's kind of like flossing your teeth. <laughs> so this is the loom's teeth up here, right? Each one is a tooth. And this is the floss. Take the floss and you stick it in between the teeth like that and then this end here 
you can tape it on the back if you want. Not really necessary, but okay. There we go. And then you are just going to simply follow this line. You're going to go across and floss the teeth on this side. <laughs> okay. So a lot of kids then want to go down to the next section. You don't really want to go straight down. You want to go around the loom, around the chipboard. So you take this and I'm just going underneath it. See that? So it was over here. Now I'm bringing it over here. And you can see that if I flip it over, you can see there's the diagonal line that I just did over on the back. So anyway, I'm gonna just take it and go to the back. And then you're just gonna go down one over on this side. And then you're gonna floss these teeth. Take it in there. And then again, go across your pencil line. Floss the teeth over here. And again, you're not gonna go down right away. You have to take it and do what? Yeah, go behind the loom. And that's how you get to the next, to the other side. Let's continue doing that all the way down. And if you need to unravel yourself some more yarn, you can. Okay. Now I'm at my end, and I'm just going to cut it so it's free from my skein. I'm just going to wrap up the extra so it's nice and tidy and clean. And then again, just like we did at the beginning, if you wanted to tape it to the back, we can. So I'm just going to flip it over. Just tape it. Not super necessary, but it does keep it nice and clean, which is good. Okay, that's the first part of our loom. So now we're going to start weaving with our loom. And again, you can use red, white, or blue. I am going to do white. Okay, so just like before, I'm going to unravel myself some string about this much cut that and we're gonna start weaving so I think first thing I'll do is so I'm gonna be going down and back up and then down and back up down and back up okay so I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna tape the end to the back. So I'm just gonna flip it over so I can tape it on the back here. Like that. And now it's time to weave. So I'm going to get to the end of my string and whenever we weave, we go over, under, over, under, over, under, so on and so forth. So take your string. And first, I'm going to take this and go over this one. So then the next time I run into a string, I go under it. See how I just took it underneath? This one's over, which means the next one is under goes under 
and over, and then under, over, under. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to pull it through. Yeah. I'll put that back up at the top. And then I'm going to push it over to the side. Like that. Okay. Now when I go back up, I really need to think about my first one. So I have to think. Last time I did weaving, which was right here, did I go underneath it or did I get over it? And I really need to think about that. It's very important. So I can tell by looking at this, I went underneath it. You see what I'm talking about? See how my white yarn went under the red yarn? That's really important because that means, and if you don't do this part, it kind of messes it all up. That means this time I have to go over. Okay, so this is the string I'm talking about right now. So I went under it last time I got to this string, right? So this time I have to go over it. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to go over it. And then there's two ways that we know what to do next. The first thing we know is that we just went over. And we know that after we go over, the next time is under. And we can also double check to make sure that's correct because we can look over here and say, well, what did I do last time I came to this string? Well, last time I came to this string, I went over, which means I have to do the opposite. It's all about the opposite in weaving. So I need to go under. Okay, so I go under and then over, under, over, under over under okay and just like when we got to the bottom now we're at the top so we're going to just pull it through and you don't want to pull this really hard because it will bend it up and it won't look as nice all right and then the last thing we do before we start another line is we push it over remember like that. They will like to live close to each other. Now we're going to go back down. And if you understood all of that, then you're all set. That's weaving. You just do the same thing over and over, you over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, like that's literally it. But I'll walk you through it again. So remember when we start again, whether we're starting going down or starting going up, we have to really think about what did we do last time? Last time I went under, so this time I'm gonna go, yeah, over. You do the opposite. After I go over, I go under. Over, under, over. Okay, so that's it. I am going to speed the rest of this color up and then I will slow it back down to show you how to switch colors. Once I'm gonna go until I know that I won't be able to do one more line with this white string. When I know I don't have enough yarn to do one more line up or down, then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna switch colors and I'll show you how to do that. But until then, I'm gonna speed up the video. Running out, I'm going to do one more. Okay. Now I'm going to change my color and I'm going to show you how I do this. I am just simply going to be done with my white yarn. I'm going to flip it upside down and tape it down. And then I'm going to simply get another color and just do the exact same thing, but this time I'm going to start right here. Okay, so I'm going to do 
blue. And remember the first thing is you just unravel yourself some of it. About that much is good. Wind it back up nice and clean. And remember the next part is we're just going to get a little tail hanging up off the top, pinch it, flip it over, put some tape, tape it down. Alright you guys, and that is the end of my tutorial for this. I hope you guys enjoy this lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!